Hello and welcome back to Lorefact Gaming Plays Baldur's Gate 3. I'm your host Lorefact and it's Baldur's Gate 3 walkthrough slash let's play video on the PC version. We're going to go ahead and go through the decrepit sanctuary in the bog and plus do other things in this bog too. As always like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more Dungeon and Dragon video games that are builds, guides, and walkthroughs just like this. In the last video we defeated Auntie Ethel. Now we're going to go ahead and finish the woman who we just rescued quest but we're going to give a warning first. Okay, here's the deal. If you're Oath of the Ancients, I'm not sure about Oath of the Vengeance Paladin, and you decide to resurrect her husband that's undead, you'll break your oath. Now, I resurrected the husband via the Oath of the Devotion. Well, nothing happened to me exactly. I did a test run to confirm it, and boom, I was alright. So, if you have probably any of the possible oaths, do not resurrect her husband. Otherwise, uh, go ahead and do so, and give her the wand. I'm going to go ahead first, start finishing the quest, and let's do it. Gods, didn't hear you coming. I know I should head home, but I can't bring myself to leave. The thought of putting him in a wheelbarrow and making the journey all over again. <sighs> we were just kids when we met. <laughs> I might have pushed him off a swing I wanted. He got right up and pushed me back. I was so surprised that I just laughed. He did too. We've barely spent a day apart since. No! He deserves a proper burial. He deserves some rest. And he won't get that here. Not even a little bit. But I will be. What? You can. You feel a surge of power from the wand. The air suddenly tastes acrid. It wants to be used. Bring it back. Bring Connor back. Please. feel something pull at you. The creature yearns for a master. What have you done to him? But oh, this isn't what she promised! I wanted him back, back the way he was, not this. No! Don't put him in the ground. He was... He is afraid of the dark. I'll do it. I'll take him. promised him I'd fix this, and I'm gonna. Maybe, maybe someone in Baldur's Gate can help us. I'll, I'll figure something out. Come on, love. Let's, let's go. Perhaps using Ethel's wand wasn't the best idea. Forget it. The milk's already spilled. I do wish there was another way to uh, save her husband, but I doubt it. Now, like I said, for Oath of Devotion, you're fine. Oath of the Ancients, you're not fine if you uh, decide to resurrect the husband. Break the wand instead. But still, I'm not sure about the uh, Oath of Vengeance. Now, if you want to be a, of course, I should say, definitely Oathbreaker, go ahead and, of course, uh, do that. I'm going to go ahead and at this time and uh, loot Aunt, I should say, Auntie... Ethel's house. Yes, we're uh, looting this uh, place up. 
Okay, door's locked. Let's go ahead and do the uh, Paladin unlock. Uh, okay, okay, not that. I should have went the other way, but screw it. Let's just bust down the door. There you go. Oh, wow. Man, I did some damage on that. Oh, there's the key, too. <laughs> My goodness. Now, at this time, since we killed Auntie Ethel, no one owns the house. We get to loot it up. So that is looting rights. I'm happy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, that's good. We're going to give uh, Gail another shot. Of course, a spell slot. That is great. I have to look for more of those for Shadow Heart and uh, Will. Let's see here. Okay, Butter Bun. Oh, more food. We're not going to take any of the spoiled stuff. Like, for example, Auntie Ethel uh, made that w poor woman eat. Yeah, that was disgusting. But she's dead. She's history. And she's uh, her body's down there somewhere. Yeah, we made sure of that. Let's grab this potion of healing, too. I might need it for the upcoming battle. All right, there's some more uh, good rings. Uh, standing mirror. Let's check what's inside this wardrobe. Uh, let's grab that. Uh, let's take care of this. And let's uh, just go ahead and give Shao Heart some more uh, things. I will have to reorganize my uh, inventory. Reason being is, is yeah, <laughs> it needs some more organization, mainly with the, I should say, is the uh, food supply. I have so much. Oh, wow. Look at that. Ribs for camping. Antidote. Letter from M. And, of course, potion of great, uh, I should say, greater healing. Well, who wonder who is M. I hope it's not the girl. Okay, it's uh ooh, that is nice. Okay, that's definitely not the uh, girl. Look like that is someone else. Yeah, that's a mysterious letter. You know what? And there are, uh, it looks like someone's at Baldur's Gate or something. That's evidence. Ooh ooh, that is rotten. I wonder what happens if you eat rotten food. I'm just curious. Let's go ahead and uh, pick that up. That's evidence. I don't know if it's needed or not. Still, it's something for the future. Who knows? Okay, we're back in the house. Let's uh, go down. Uh, and of course, those red cats will uh, never, I should say, uh, never wither our uh, limbs. Yeah. And they said that constantly in uh, Neverwinter. And then uh, you had a, a two hand sword and shove them up, you know what? Okay, let's check that out. Oh, that is a broken uh, furniture. Oh, well. Let's check this out wardrobe. How much does Auntie uh, Ethel has for our uh, wardrobes? That's nice, though. A book. More spoiled food. Cro uh, let's see here. Uh, crappy chest. What's inside? Ooh, 54 pieces of gold. That is good. A uh, cleaver. I might have to start, uh, you know, evening things out again. Let's grab this. Grab the potion. I need that. Grab some uh, reagents. Yeah, I'm still in my uh, Ultima 5 uh, phase. I was grabbing a lot of rages. All oh, right, I'm getting a lot of these uh, ammo speaking. This is good. Hopefully, I can go through the entire game with nothing but that. Then uh, each day, I pop that, and boom, that's it. Speak with animals, make things easier. But I do not know if we're going to get into another forest area or so. But still, I might do it on case uh, by case. But simply uh, see an ammo, pop it. No animals, do not pop it. There should be some underdark animals anyways or something like that. Oh, wow, that's a nice painting. Oh, yeah, those paintings are worth decent money. Not like the Vinny Original Sin 2 where you made a lot of money on paintings. Okay, we are done here. We're going to go down into the overgrown uh, tunnel, talk to a lot of people. I will uh, definitely return once I'm done speak with everyone. My sweet Callum, whose beloved asked that his beauty never fade. The mirror glints in the light, the screams from within now silent. Oh, oh my head! Oh no, no! Why ain't I petrified? What? How... How am I still breathing? I have the bite. I wouldn't wish it on anyone. Your insides end up on the outside. 
Petrification stops the spread. I was on death's door. But now I feel... I feel great. How? Oh. detect anything. You have no explanation for his good health. I suppose I should count my blessings. Most ain't so lucky. I don't fancy hanging around here, but thank you. And best of luck. This poor dear wished never to lay eyes on her family again. My dearest Efren, he begged me to halt the deadly disease that ravaged him. Is the hat gone? God, tell me she's gone. Oh, please. May she burn in the nine hells. The things she did. The things she made me do. Vile. Disgusting. Good gods! You... You're the one. The Mind Flayer. No. The Hag's gift is gone, but it's... It's going to happen. Soon. I saw you screaming, covered in your own insides, as that... that thing bursts out of your skull. You change, skin ripping from your body, and then you butcher... everyone. Everyone around you. I... I don't know. It could be a ten day. It could be any moment. I can't do this. You're too dangerous. I'm... I'm sorry. We are now done with Auntie Ethel's, of course, area, so all we need to do now is just explore the rest of this bog and that's it. So, I'm going to say this now. That was a uh, fun area to explore, fun battle with Auntie Ethel, even fun with her uh, hench people. I'll say, yeah, it was fun murdering those uh, red caps again. Seriously, uh, fun. Yeah, you little MFers are not going to say blood magic no more. That's right. Nope. So, we're going to go ahead and do some exploring. And I'm going to, if I remember right, there was some kind of docks like thing, or I should say, wooden uh, pathway that's been. Uh, Blocked off some. I thought I saw a, a druid structure or something like that. I'm sure of it. Okay, there is the waypoint. That is good. I'm going to have to be careful. Watch out for traps or anything of the uh, matter. Um, um, let's see here for a second. That looks fine. Let's check this way. Nothing else is there. Okay, okay. Wait, wait. I thought I do see something. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good, good, good. There's something across. We are uh, about to get somewhere. Okay, anyways, uh, coming up when we uh, do get to a uh, decrepit, I should say, sanctuary, we're about to go into battle. Now, we're going against two wooden foes. They're, uh, you know I mean, they're regenerating. Good news is they're weak to fire. Yep, just like uh, real life. The uh, mud maps, be careful because uh, they explode when you kill them. They will summon little ones up too. You kill those, they explode. So, uh, if you're a uh, I should say, you're, you're, I should uh, get the initiative first, then try to take out the little ones first, then the uh, wood ones. Not too hard of a battle, but you will uh, probably waste some resource. I'll probably use one of my uh, short rest because I have not been resting in a uh, while. I've been going crazy with fight after fight after fight. Especially uh, two out of three hard ones, one simple one. Let's uh, go ahead and jump across. Let's get everybody uh, over this way, and that's about it. We'll uh, start the battle once we uh, get there. Let me see if there's any other targets or anything else I could definitely uh, cheese. Nope. 
I'm just looking for ways to choose things in this uh, game, just like I did at Auntie Ethel's uh, gas room. Yeah, that was so easy with those masks. I'm still going to keep hold of those just in case I need them in the future, at least one of each. For now, as soon as we get across, we're going to kick some serious uh, butt beforehand. Let's loot that up. Okay, let's give that to her, and I'll uh, definitely take the thieves' uh, tools because I'm going to need that. Or in case my rogue does when I bring him back. So uh, let's uh, go ahead and clear this out. I will return definitely after I am done and uh, over with.
That splash damage was not pretty and soldier one for the ages. So one for the ages is like this. You're facing ten or more foes, you get an inspirational point. In my case I get some experience points out of it, which is uh good. I should be about under a thousand away from I should say definitely from uh, level five. Let's heal up and there you have it. So everything looks fine. I'm gonna have to uh, use a short rest, only have uh, one left. I'm gonna definitely uh, save that when I uh, have to uh, start clearing out a, a certain area. And that's about it. All right, right, looks good. Let's see here, check the wooden foes. Oh, wow, wow, this is a good shield. That's gonna be good for a shower heart. She, yeah, she's gonna claim that. Oh, that is uh, nice. Oh, wait, you could summon those? If that's the case, uh, 
Well, Shadow Heart's about to get another ally. Or I should say I should get another ally. My only uh, disappointment is the uh, imp is nowhere to be found. Oh, that imp's over there. Oh, it's a little buggy. That's all right. Kind of wish the imp would have helped, but it is what it is. Sometimes your imp is great, like in the last few videos. Other times the imp's lazy or buggy. In this case, this imp's just a uh, you know, bit of uh, both. Uh, watch out for those vines. You can get stuck if you're not careful. Let's uh, go ahead and take care of this. Oh, wow. That was a good fight, though. I mean, the good fighting mechanics was his, uh, you think it's a myth. Okay, it's easy. We'll uh, take it out close. Noop. Oh, they changed the uh, that big time. It's not like uh, Baldur's Gate 2 where you take out the mimp and that was it. Oh, they were annoying, but at a certain point, that's all right. Oh, wow, wow, wow. What is this? On hit, you gain two lightning charges. Oh, that is uh, good. That's more of a uh, offensive glove, but I'll see who uh, needs it. Let's see. Oh, oh, I see what's going on. There's uh, some weeds. I think at this uh, time recording, there's supposed to be something else there. I will have to uh, check off screen. I thought it was up there, but I think that tree's the key. And yeah, let me uh, just go ahead and just have my uh, paladin scout around. Look, let's see here. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to give up those uh, gloves of heroism. Nope. Not at all, so let's not do that. Oh, yeah, she does need some gloves. We'll give her that for now. I'll look for something more uh, of a caster uh, flavor later on for her. I might have to get those uh, gloves of uh, missiles or something like that. Where she takes less damage with it. But that shield is really uh, nice. Oh, let's see what's in the vase. Yeah, this is probably one of the last areas to explore. Until I go check out the hook or uh, I should say hook horror area. If it's still even there. I discovered it by accident uh, one time on uh, early access. It was pretty funny though. <laughs> I killed them. I was like, oh wait, they're hook whores. And I realized, oh great, they're level 9 variants. And all of a sudden it was like level 4. <laughs> if it is still level 4. Let's do a little Divine Original Sin trick. And there you go. Nothing is there. Yeah, I'll have to definitely uh, go off screen and start checking some of these areas again. Oh yeah, watch out. Uh, some certain part you could bleed, so be careful. Uh, if you fail, uh, I should say slay of hands, or I say pickpocking hands, then you, uh, yeah, see, I'm going to get open wound. So I'm going to have to be uh, careful now. I'll probably lose some hit points. Not permanently, just temporarily. Until I get healed or something. Yeah, let's uh, check this out. Nothing there. Uh, no one's, uh, I should say, perception got went off like crazy, so that's either good or uh, bad. And uh, there's that over there. Okay, that's fine. I'm just checking everywhere else. Ooh, 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 that is nice. A uh, treasure chest. And a vase. Let's see what's inside of either. Uh, I'm still bleeding, though, so that's wearing off. That is uh, very good. Let's check what's in this. Uh, more tools. Yeah, I'm not going to weigh it myself down. Uh, there you go. We're all set and uh, good to uh, go. Let's uh, just do some more exploring before I get out of here. I think one or two more areas of this bog I do need to explore and I'm going for the vase again yep same oh good good open wound saving throw yes it's gone it's bye bye I don't have to take any damage uh, oh by the way uh, fire does get rid of these I'll show you in a few seconds or more and uh, let's see who has fire okay let's Gale you're up cast your level zero fire spell let it burn and then hopefully if you want to go uh, explore it further but that is very nice though I can get rid of those annoying vines like crazy oh wow wow everything's on fire <laughs> nothing but ash yep and nothing there okay that is good I'm just making sure uh, those go bye bye and they're uh, gone good thing they're level zero spells I love that especially in I think it was Neverwinter Nights uh, 1 and definitely two fun times with uh, those starting out then of course you got something better and you keep on using those especially warlocks let's see for a few moments well warlocks didn't get the really level zero spells but still they're uh, OP oh wow I could explore that the way instead of being uh, cut my hand oh wow I miss uh, did I miss that yeah I'm just double checking this 
This this looks like probably was a Druid sanctuary or something. That could, that could be the key, but it's uh, not. All right, let's just get out of here. We'll be careful. We're not gonna go that way. Nope, bridge is gone. Kiss it goodbye. You know what? Let's go uh, do it the old uh, cheating way. Yeah, that's right. Teleportation. So I'm gonna go with that empty spot. I think I know what's up ahead. Uh, this is a good one. If you have speak ammo or a potion that speaks with ammos, go ahead and do so because again, you're gonna get something very worth it. And you're gonna need to follow the frog. Seriously, follow that frog. And yeah, this will uh, do a another one of those uh, slay a hand check. So you just be careful with that. I should speak up. Hag is gone! Happy! 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 Come! Present! Let's follow that frog and no, that frog's not gonna get you in a trap. Only the frog will be like that if Auntie Ethel is dead, which Auntie Ethel is definitely dead. Oh, wow, wow, wow. That is a good uh, job, Frog. Thank you so much. And that Frog's going to expose over there some uh, loot. Let's uh, definitely uh, loot that up after I'm done with that. Closer we get to the Frog, it's about to reveal the goods. So let's see what it is. Oh, wow, Scroll of Sleep and Scroll of Grease. And those are, I believe, level one spells. Thank you so much, Frog. I am serious. You are very kind to me. Let's give him this. Yeah, too much things weighing me down. I have to go off screen uh, and start, uh, I should say, give out food much more better. Anyway, so uh, here's the deal. We're gonna about to come up on a uh, another companion quest. And this uh, bog, this is uh, Asterion, the uh, vampire high elf rogue in our party. Now, I'm not going to reveal, of course, the location of our friend because I'll probably be a massive approval down or something like that. Nah. I'll try to savage that. You know, our uh, ideal allologies are totally uh, different. So uh, just do what I did, and afterwards, we'll go to the camp, tell our vampire uh, high elf rogue what happened. Then a uh, continuation, of course, the uh, Pell Elf quest. Which we'll do next video. I'll definitely uh, kill the hunter off. Since we're out of time for uh, that. So once I'm done talking to a whole bunch of people or so. I'll uh, definitely do a recap for this video. Ah, a fellow wanderer. Forgive the aroma. You catch a waft of something foul, metallic, and sickly sweet. Powdered iron vine. Most monsters will think twice before making a meal of me. An old hunter's trick. If you can't mask your scent, spoil it. Today, the same as you, a humble supplicant, come to bargain with the lady of this house. Though, perhaps I speak too swiftly. You have an odor of your own, or the stench of fey blood. You've already met the hag, then. Truly? I won't mourn her passing. Though I hoped she would help me on my hunt. I can wait. You, on the other hand, should already be running. A coven will hear of this. They'll stop plotting to kill one another just long enough to focus all that energy on you. Truth is like a blade, my friend. We can arm ourselves with it, or just as easily find it pressed against our throat. I would not put you in danger. No, this duty is mine alone. But for such an offer, an answer at least is owed. I hunt a vampire spawn called Astarian. I'm bound to bring him back to Baldur's Gate, alive. Though I cannot swear to his condition once my tribe are done with him. Is he known to you? I see. 
Your loyalty is admirable, but misplaced. His kind have charm beyond our mortal means to resist. I can show you who he truly is, if you will just tell me where to find him. Astarian has quite the friend in you. I'll make sure he knows that, at the end. Can't fault you for that. But a vampire among us, it doesn't sit right. Let's hope it doesn't come back to bite me later. Need something? What? Who? What happened? A girl? What are those vagabonds? Why would they... Cazador? <laughs> of course he'd send a girl to hunt me down. Cazador Tsar is a vampire lord in Baldur's Gate. The patriarch of his coven and a monster obsessed with power. He turned me nearly 200 years ago. I became his spawn, and he became my tormentor. First, they make excellent monster hunters, so find a vampire spawn sounds perfectly reasonable to them. Second, they're the reason I'm like this in the first place. It was a group of Gur that attacked me that night in Baldur's Gate. I would have died had Cazador not appeared and saved me. Well, he didn't mention the slave clause at the time. And now he sends a Gur monster hunter for me. It's a message. He's reminding me of his power. Even in the middle of nowhere, he can reach me. And he wants me back. <laughs> safe! You think I'm safe? Do you know the power? A vampire lord possesses. He can change shape, turn into mist, call walls to do his bidding, shrug off blows like they're nothing. He could walk into our camp tonight and kill you with his bare hands. And you'd be lucky if death was the worst thing that happened to you. First, we have to... Uh, uh, I don't know. Well, if we kill his lackeys, he'll just send more. We just have to be vigilant, keep our wits about us, and kill any monster hunters on sight. We can probably make an exception for Will. Probably. Who knows? Drow? Mind flayers? Death? Hopefully not ours. But maybe answers, if we can convince the right people to talk. Well met. Are you sure? The blade stands at the ready. And just when things were warming up. I suppose you want to hear about Cazador. My old master. Before the Mind Flayers took me from him. Before this strange, twisted freedom. Cazador Tsar is a vampire lord in Baldur's Gate. The patriarch of his coven and a monster obsessed with power. Not political power or military power, I mean power over people. The power to control them completely. He turned me nearly 200 years ago. I became his spawn. And he became my tormentor. Not him, no. A gang of thugs attacked me, angry about a ruling that I'd handed down as magistrate. They beat me to death's door when Cazador appeared. He chased them off and offered to save me, to give me eternal life. Given that my choices were eternal life or bleed to death on the street, I took him up on the offer. 
It was only afterwards I realized just how long eternity could be. He had me go out into Baldur's Gate to fetch him the most beautiful souls I could find. It was a fun little ritual of his. I'd bring them back, and he'd ask if I wanted to dine with him. And if I said yes, he'd serve me a dead, putrid rat. Of course, if I said no, he'd have me flayed. Hard to say which was worse. I will. But I won't take it for granted. The Mind Flayers aren't the only monsters out there. They're not even the only ones hunting us. All I'm asking is that you keep your eyes open and watch out for anything lurking in the shadows. What more could I ask? Now, is that all? Darling, I thought you'd never ask. Lead on. Here's a recap for a video. So after I uh, met the woman who I uh, saved from the last video, resurrect her husband. She, uh, her husband was zombie, gave her the wand. They went off the Baldur's Gate to get her husband cured, which won't happen probably. Went uh, further exploring the bog, found this abandoned sanctuary the fear the foes there found a nice piece of gear there once that was said and done followed the frog got some loot after that found a uh, monster hunter going after our, our high elf vampire friend here i warned him of course like a good person in the next uh, bars gate 3 video we'll tie up some loose ends and then uh, try our uh, luck at the goblin uh, fortress or something like that this is it for my Baldur's gate 3 walkthrough decrepit sanctuary video this is lord fent signing off Thanks for watching and have a great day or night and do please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more classic and modern Dungeons and Dragons walkthroughs, builds, guides, and more just like this. If you like what you see, then uh, go ahead and pick my suggestion on the upper left-hand corner or YouTube suggestion on the bottom left-hand corner. I'm going to go ahead and relax in this nice chair.